Welcome to Electro Online. Nothing like an example to help us understand a theory or a concept. So here we're going to find the volume of a parallel pipe, it, a real example. A little bit simplified by the fact that they already gave us d3 vectors and of course I should turn those into vector quantities a, b and d. And notice that even though we came up with an equation that says we're going to take the two vectors in the base and take the cross product and then dot it with the third vector, it really doesn't matter in which order you do it. You can call this the base, you can call this the base, you can call the top the base, you can call any side of the parallel pipe at the base and then the other third side the height or at least the projection onto the, the perpendicular to the base as the height. So what we're going to do is show you that it works. We're going to take the, find the volume by taking the dot product of I keep forgetting my little arrows, of A dot the cross product of B and D. So it could have been the cross product of A and B and then dotted with D, or it could have been the cross product of A and D and then dotted with B. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. You will always get the same answer. Of course, don't forget that we're going to need to take the absolute value of that in case we get a negative quantity. So let's go ahead and take the cross product of B and D as defined by those two vectors right there. So B cross D is equal to the determinant of I, J, and K. Now the components of the B vector, which is 0, 4, negative 2, 0, 4, negative 2, and the components of the D vector, which is 2, 2, and a negative 4. All right, let's go ahead and do that first. So this is equal to i times 4 times a negative 4, which is negative 16, minus a minus 2 times 4, that would uh, 2 times 2, that would be a, a minus 4 times a minus is a plus 4, minus j times 0 times 4, which is 0, minus times a minus 4, that's a plus 4, and then plus k times 0 times 2, which is 0, minus 2 times 4, which is minus 8. So here we get a minus 12i, minus 4j, and minus 8k. So the next thing we're going to do, so this is b cross d. So now we're going to do the dot product between a and b cross d. So a dot b cross d is going to be equal to, well, in this case, we're going to come up with a scalar quantity. So we take the first component of A, 2, and we multiply that times the first component of B cross D, which is a minus 12, plus the first component of A, which is a minus 6, and multiply that times the, the second component of B cross D, which is a minus 4, and then plus the third component of A, which is 2, multiplied times the third component of B cross D. So this is going to be equal to minus 24 uh, plus 24 minus 16, which is equal to minus 16. So this is A dotted with B cross D. A dotted with B cross D. But then you realize that if you want to say, well, that's equal to the volume, you're going to require to take the absolute value of that, which is going to be equal to a positive 16, because there's no such thing as a negative 16 volume, of course. You can't have a negative volume. And so it would be a good idea to go ahead and put absolute value signs around it, just to say, in case it comes out negative, because you may not know how A, B, and D are oriented, so that it could be that when you take the dot product, you end up with a negative quantity. Doesn't mean that's a negative volume. You simply say, ah, I chose the wrong combination or the wrong direction. Doesn't matter. Make it positive, and that will then give you the volume of that parallel pipette. And that's how it's done.